everyone, welcome back to Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I took a few weeks off for Christmas. I hope you guys had the most amazing holiday season. I'm so happy to be back for this 2023 year and I'm going to be sharing with you guys a haul video today of some gorgeous antique and thrifted finds that I've been collecting for this brand new series. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Everything to do with heart, family, and home. We have so much fun on this channel, sharing all of the decor inspiration, decorating ideas, lots of DIYs, thrift hauls. If you guys like that kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you guys a part of the fairy tale family here. So for today's video, I've been collecting a lot of thrifted finds. I have some cute little antiques to share with you guys. So the first piece of decor is this gorgeous little bowl. It's got this beautiful kind of speckled kind of appearance to it. And I love the warm, creamy color. I just think this would be such a beautiful piece to have either in my kitchen or on my dining room table. I think it's just so beautiful. I'm excited about it. It's super simple, but I just think it will be such a nice piece. And I love having those kind of neutral colors throughout my home. As you guys have seen in my other videos, pink is my favorite color. I love having it all of my decor, but I do like having those kind of neutral style decor as well just to kind of bring in a little bit more of that warm cohesive look especially with the shabby chic and antique feel that we're going to be doing. So I also love collecting a lot of antique finds for my tiered trays or my stands that I do in my kitchen. I love decorating tiered trays. So I got these two gorgeous little pieces of antique decor. I'm so excited about them. They were super inexpensive. I picked them up at Value Village. I love how they're a little bit worn and they're that beautiful kind of brassy gold color. I thought they would make such a nice addition to my decor and I'm really trying to go for that shabby chic antique kind of Victorian style. So I thought these would fit in beautifully and I could even put some cute little candies in them for like Valentine's Day coming up so I thought these would be such a cute little idea for my tiered tray. And then speaking of Valentine's Day I found this a gorgeous little bowl also at Value Village and it has these beautiful hearts on the top of the glass here which I thought was kind of a nice little nod to Valentine's Day but not too in your face. Um, this year I'm not doing like the traditional Valentine's with the, you know the harsh you know hot pinks and bright reds. I really wanted to try to do something really soft and romantic very shabby chic a kind of a different take on Valentine's Day, so I thought this would be a really nice piece to have in my kitchen or on a tiered tray and I could fill it with some cute little candies for my family so really excited about that one and it was like two dollars at Valley Village so very nice and inexpensive. The next piece of decor I found was this gorgeous little piece here it's actually a lot heavier than it looks but I thought this would be so nice to put in some little wildflowers again in my home I'm really trying to do that antique Victorian theme so I thought this was so beautiful and I love the aged look of it with the kind of brown that's peeking through and it's very nice and weighted so it would be so beautiful like on top of a book with pearls hanging out of it you can do so many things with this and if you don't like the color you could always paint it and just dress it yourself but I really like how neutral it is I thought it would fit in with my existing decor now this next piece doesn't look like much it's definitely very plain and simple but when I saw this this was the perfect piece I was looking for for a DIY that I had in mind I wanted to do some decoupaging and make it kind of like a cute little shabby chic trinket box so how plain and simple this was it was perfect because it makes the great DIY canvas it was three dollars at Value Village very simple and I just like how it's just a plain wood so it doesn't need any sanding and I'm gonna make it into a gorgeous little box so another cute little wooden find that I got at Value Village was this adorable little card holder I have an idea for Valentine's Day that I wanted to create some really vintage looking love letters and I thought it would be so pretty to have them kind of displayed in this gorgeous little box I'm probably going to either paint this or decoupage it as well just to make it look a little bit more Victorian but I thought this was the perfect little blank canvas to do those cute little love letters so make sure you guys stay tuned for that DIY it's gonna be so much fun I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of the shabby chic feels with the gorgeous Valentine's Day twist so really excited about that one another little decorative find is this gorgeous little um, picture I thought this was so beautiful I love the tones it's very nice and warm and creamy and I thought this would fit beautifully as a neutral decor piece into my antique aesthetic I think it is so romantic it gives me all of the Jane Austen and vibes. I thought this was so beautiful. Could not pass this up. I love this one. And then kind of similar, I have this beautiful glass version. It's a little bit smaller. So again, this would be great for a tiered tray or a little stand in your kitchen or a little shelf. It's so beautiful. And I love how it's kind of a tinted glass which so has a little bit of pink to it, but it's not super in your face. It's very romantic. And I just thought this would be beautiful with some cute little wildflowers in it for coming up with spring and Valentine's Day. So I thought this was a cute little addition. Something else that I always keep an eye out for at thrift stores are teacups. I love to collect different vintage 
vintage teacups all over the place. I always keep an eye out for them. So I found this gorgeous piece at Value Village actually. And I love the colors for my color scheme for um, going into spring is gonna be really romantic. I have some beautiful soft greens, some very light pinks, of course, gold, my favorite. <laughs> and you know, the neutral tones of warm, warm creams and browns. So I thought this would fit in beautifully with that kind of decor. It's such a beautiful vintage piece. I wish they had a whole set. I would have got way more than this, but this is all they had. But like I said, I collect vintage teacups. I really want to get one cabinet one day that has all of them displayed because I just, it's one of my favorite things to collect. So I'm really happy about this one. I thought this would be really nice on my little tray in my kitchen. Another thing that's really nice to keep an eye out for at your local thrift store are magazines or books. I love to collect some beautiful kind of aesthetic looking magazines. So I found this beautiful uh, Victoria book. It has all sorts of shabby chic kind of decor in it. I love all of the inspirational pictures. It's absolutely beautiful. I like having these displayed out on my coffee table or in a cute little stand where I can have all of my favorite books and things like that. And it's just kind of something fun to have just, you know, sitting out its decor, but it also is functional as well. So I got two different ones. I have more of a shabby chic one and then more of a true Victorian. I'm kind of trying to blend in like my favorite kind of girly pink style with the gorgeous antiques shabby chic. That's kind of the vibe we're going for this year in my home. So I'm really excited to be kind of diving into some beautiful decor. It's very Victorian themed. I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys all of the antique finds, kind of how it feels like when you go into your grandma's house, that warm, cozy feel. I really want to try to recreate that this year. So really excited to have some kind of decor inspiration with some beautiful magazines. So up next, I have one of my favorite thrift finds of the year. I'm so excited I found this. It is an absolutely cozy, gorgeous quilt. Now you guys cannot go wrong with something like this. This is the perfect thing to incorporate into your decor after the Christmas time, where you still wanna be nice and warm and cozy, but you necessarily don't want all of the wintry decor. A nice blanket is the perfect way to go, and you can't go wrong with a gorgeous quilt. <laughs> like I said, I kinda of wanna go with my um, grandma's theme. Like she always had these warm, cozy quilts. She had all of these warm colors, and I just kinda of wanna recreate that warm feeling in my home, especially after Christmas where you kinda of get that you know sad feeling that the holidays are over I really want to make sure that my home is a sanctuary for my family where they can come and just feel at peace and excited to be in a nicely decorated home so I'm so happy with this one it has the most beautiful flowers on it and it's very very soft and then it's got this beautiful um, striped fabric on the back I found this at an antique uh, boutique here in uh, Langley which is in BC Canada if you guys aren't familiar but such a great find. It was a little bit pricey, but it, I was supporting a beautiful um, woman who makes these quilts with so much love. So it was so much fun to buy this and support her. So very happy to have found this and cannot wait to display this in my house. <laughs> So again, I have another piece of wooden decor to share with you guys. Of course, it doesn't look like much now. It's got kind of a bit outdated pattern on it. But when I saw this, I just saw the potential that it had. And I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I'm going to be DIYing this, kind of making it look like an old Victorian jewelry box. So I cannot wait to share with you guys. It has so much character to it. And I thought this would just be such a beautiful piece of decor to have in my living room. I want all of the Jane Austen vibes in my house. So, so excited about this one. It's totally fun. It has the door, you know, the door completely opens. You can store stuff in there. And it also has a cute little drawer that you could put jewelry in or all of your little trinkets. So I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys a gorgeous DIY on this one. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So another thing that I like to keep an eye out at my decor stores are for vases. These can be so expensive at high-end decor stores and you can get them on a total budget when you guys go thrifting. I got this at a local boutique here in Langley, um, but it's this beautiful kind of scrolly looking vase. It is a little bit dirty, so it definitely needs some uh, TLC, but that's okay. I'm planning on spray painting this actually and then kind of giving it a little bit of uh, distressing just so that this kind of darker uh, brownie black can come through, but I thought this would just be the perfect piece of decor. I love the scrolly texture to it. I think it's so unique and definitely goes with my antique shabby chic decor. One of my favorite decor finds to look for when I'm thrifting or when I'm at an antique boutique, I'm always looking for vintage uh, pictures or frames and I got this beautiful 
piece of artwork from a, lo a local boutique here in Langley. I'm so excited about this. It's so gorgeous. It's an antique watercolor painting. I can't remember the date that the, the sales associate told me it was, but it's very, very old and I'm so excited to have this into my decor. It totally gives me those beautiful, cozy Victorian vibes. It is so beautiful. I love the frame. It's this really nice warm honey brown, which will fit beautifully into my existing decor. I was so happy to purchase this. It's so beautiful. And you can also just look for vintage frames in general as well. If you don't like the artwork, you can always change out the piece inside. But I just think this is so beautiful and special. I can't wait to display this in my home. I also found this piece of artwork here, which I thought was just beautiful. Again, I'm really drawn to this warm, romantic tone. Tones. I really like how it has all of my colors I'm going for the warm creams the rich chocolate browns and it just has this really warm cozy feel and I like these kind of still life pictures I think it really just brings a nice nostalgic um, beautiful romantic um, thing into your the last thing I want to share with you guys is actually the couch that I'm sitting on so this was an amazing Facebook marketplace find I'm so excited to have this piece of decor it is so regal and <laughs> just a come completely over the top, but I love it. I am very excited to have this gorgeous piece of furniture incorporated into my home. I'm going to be actually sharing with you guys an upcycle DIY on this. I love the fabric. It's got this beautiful texture on the seat cushions. It's a very nice warm kind of golden brown color, but the, um, the frame of the couch actually has a lot of um, distressed and their kids that used to have this couch drew a little bit on it so it definitely needs a repaint around the perimeter of the couch but I have a really nice DIY that I want to share with you guys we're gonna be upcycling this and just making it look even more fabulous if that was even possible I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys how I transformed this couch we're gonna be changing out the couch cushions as well they are quite old and falling apart a little bit so I'm going to be getting some new cushions for this piece as well and I'm so excited to have this into my home it just brings in that really vintage antique feel that I was really looking for with my home this year I want to incorporate this theme into the entire year and just include those kind of seasonal decorating pieces into the decor but still keep the heart of what I want to showcase on this channel which is just how you can decorate your home on a budget you don't need to spend a lot of money to create the most cozy feeling um, antique vibes in your home. I love thrifting. It's such a great way to get those unique pieces into your decor that no one else has. It makes it really um, a form of self-expression to have those beautiful pieces that you can just look at and make you smile and make you feel good and just happy to be home because at the end of the day home is where the heart is. I know that's a cheesy saying but <laughs> it's totally true and I just love having my home be a sanctuary where I can just feel at peace and feel you know happy to come home to every night. So I really hope I can share with you guys some amazing DIYs this year, decorating ideas, tips and tricks. There's so much coming up for this amazing 2023 series. So I really hope you guys stick around. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm so grateful that you guys have joined me today. I hope you guys had the most amazing holiday season and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.